Hey guys, Mr. Tyson here. Uh, we may have another snow day tomorrow, and I wanted to walk you guys through how to make this title block and teach you about paper space and model space in AutoCAD. Now, I'm doing this at home on my Mac, so it will be a little different from the versions of AutoCAD that we use at school, but the commands and principles are the same. So if you look at uh, the Canvas page, you've already seen this title block and you've noticed that it's ten and a half by eight inches and it's got some two inch spaces uh, for blocks that contain things like the fire wrench logo a block for your name the class the drawing name the date and over here we have scale and size the date is an inch and a half and the scale and size are an inch wide everything is an inch in height uh, scale and size are a half inch in height so what we need to do is reproduce this in AutoCAD. So I'm going to close this window and I'm going to hop over here to AutoCAD and here is my AutoCAD and what it looks like. Now it's a little bit different but you can see that uh, if I hop down here to Model Space I have Model and I have Layout 1 and Layout 2. So Model Space is where you do all your drawing. Uh, paper Space, when you click on it, it looks like a piece of paper. Notice we have a dashed line around the edge of the paper. All right. In my computer, it says edit page setup and print layout and stuff. All that's going to be available in your AutoCAD, the A menu that you're going to drop down. We can go over that in class. You're not, I don't expect you to print this at home. <clears throat> but I want you to be familiar with how to create it. So you can draw in paper space, and it won't affect anything you do in model space. And you can draw in model space, and it won't affect anything that happens in paper space. Model space is always black. So let's just say I'll draw a line, okay? And I go back and look at paper space. You can see there's my line. Now, I can zoom. I can pan. I don't have my pan wheel here, so you'll have to forgive me. I think if I hold the control button down and do it, no, I don't know how to do that in my Mac. Um, but I do know that I can zoom. Uh, and so there's that line. Now, I can also come over here and make sure I'm in paper space and I can draw the same line. All right. And it's not going to affect my model space. This is called a viewport. This is where it is like a window that you can look in. If I delete it, I did not delete my drawing. I just got rid of the viewport. You can see if I go back to model, there's the line. If I go back to paper space, it's not there. There's the line I made in paper space. Matter of fact, you can tell I'm in paper space because it says paper and I delete that. And I go back to model space and my line is still there. So let's jump into what we're doing. First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna check my units. I already set them to architectural. Uh, with a half inch precision and I also set my limits okay I did 0 0 and I did 20 20 oh, wasn't doing lemon check sorry limits 0 comma 0 enter 20 comma 20 enter now I can start now you notice my ribbons over here yours will be up top but I don't use it anyway. I'm going to start with a rectangle. My first point is going to be 0, 0. And I'm going to enter absolute coordinates here. I know that this is 10 and a half inches wide and 8 inches tall. All right. Then I can do a ZE and it'll zoom in. Now, I know that I can make a line from the origin point up to the point. 0 comma 1 enter and I know I can draw a line straight across because my ortho mode is on and I have my bottom margin there's my ortho mode it was on I wanted to make this line right here because I can do an offset of this line and I can offset it 2 inches and go there and I can do the same thing and I can do the same thing and I can do the same thing. Now I gotta change my offset. So now I'm gonna do offset and I'm gonna go back and double check that I didn't put too many of these. 
one, two, three, four, and then an inch and a half and an inch. So there's one, one, two, three, four blocks. I'm gonna do another offset that is an inch and a half. And oops, I didn't put it down. 1.5. All right, and I'm going to do one more offset. Oh, I don't need another offset. I'm actually going to make a line from the midpoint to the midpoint. There's the outline of my title block. Now, I need to insert. Um, I need to insert a image. All right, so yours is going to be insert a clip. Uh, a clipping mine's going to be a raster image I'm going to come over here I made this image available as part of the assignment so you guys can download it um, <clears throat> I'm going to look in my Google Drive and find the FBHS logo that I want I'm going to copy the full path. I don't want to do a relative path. I'm not going to change any of these other settings. I'm going to hit OK. Now it's going to be huge. I'm going to just go ahead and block it in the right in that corner. And then I can scale it as small as I can. Then all I got to do is come up here and select it, grab the corner, and squeeze it down. I actually want to try to squeeze it inside these blocks, so I'm going to turn my, whoops, F3 is different. Let's see. I'm going to turn my object snaps off, and I'm going to turn my ortho mode off, so I can put this inside this block a little bit. I'm going to show you why I'm doing that in just a little while. Now, <clears throat> I need to add text to these blocks here. And that's easy to do in the annotate menu, which in my ribbon over here, I have multi-line text, so I can create some multi-line text. I can draw a box where I want it to go, and I can type name, put a colon. Now, before I put the rest of these down, I'm going to fix this one the way I want it. I can right click on top of this object and it's going to pull up some information about the text editor, um, the height of the text or the size of the text and whatnot. I can make it smaller. I can make it bigger. I'm going to make it about 0.15. Didn't mean to put the tab in there. Oops. I have to get used to the keyboard that I'm using. Looks like it didn't look what I did, so I'm just going to do it again. I select the text before I change the size. And that's where the name um, plate is going to go. So I can do copy. Now, here's the cool part. So specify a base point. I want to make sure that my snaps are turned back on because I want to copy from the corner here and I'm going to go to every corner and that way I know things are lined up the way they're supposed to be and look the way they're supposed to look. Okay, That makes it pretty simple. All right. Now, I can come in here and change the text to uh, what are we supposed to have? We're supposed to have class. We're supposed to have Drawing name. 
we're supposed to have the date we're supposed to have the scale and we're supposed to have the size now these can probably move up a little bit and I can move them all at one time I actually probably moved them too far down that's fine I can just use the move command I can use that as a base and I can slide it up especially if I turn my snaps off I can have pretty free reign of where I want it to go that looks a little better I think you know and I think that looks good we can put the information in there that we need okay so this is our model space and this is our model and if I go to layout one I don't have a viewport nothing's there if I go to layout two I have a viewport and you can see that I have this drawing I'll turn the grid off so you can see the the drawing and I'm going to zoom out now problem is we don't want that in our model space we want it in our paper space so what are we going to do well I'm going to go back to layout one and I'm going to go back to our model space and I'm going to select every, I'm going to green sweep everything on this screen. All right. And I'm going to copy it. I can right click and do a copy. I can do the copy command. I, I actually did the shortcut key control C or in Apple's case command C. I'm going to go layout one and I'm going to paste it. It's going to ask for a base point. Well, I'm going to do my best to center it in this paper because I can change the margins later. All right, perfect. Now, notice I don't have a viewport, but it says new viewport. In AutoCAD 17 for PC, the top of your ribbon on the right-hand side, it'll say layout. And if you click on layout, you can go and find a rectangular viewport insertion tool. You can also Google how to put a viewport in AutoCAD, and it'll tell you. I'm going to do this new viewport and see what comes up. All right, I'm going to turn my snaps back on because I want to go from this corner point to this corner point. And notice in my model space, when I click on model space, there's my layout. All right, now, <clears throat> the drawing that I made, I can do the same thing with. I can copy and paste in there. I'm gonna go back to my model, not model there. I'm gonna go back to my model space here. I don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna delete it. Oh no, Mr. Tyson just deleted his drawing. No, he didn't. He saved it. Now, like I said, you can edit stuff in paper space, and I'm going to show you. The reason I shrunk this logo earlier, remember I mentioned this was important. You can see there's a frame around it, and I didn't really know how to do this, so I Googled it. And I learned that if I select the frame and I type image frame, it pulls up, and you can see it says enter a new value for image frame one. Well, binary numbers are zero and one and one means yes and zero means no so I said I bet if I put zero in there it might hide the frame and look it hides the frame so now you have a seamless page setup the other thing I'm gonna need to do and it may be different uh, for you guys and I haven't done this here either so it may take me a minute to figure out how to change these margins but I've got to change the page margins where they print outside of outside of what I have entered in my um, viewport. All right. So I want to make sure I print the display center on the page whatever it works out to be once I change this whoops that's not what I want to do Let's just do the old undo button um We'll go over this in class because I'm not exactly sure how to change it on this Mac and it's going to take me longer than I really want you guys to have time to do. But basically, that's your template. All right. You have created it. 
you can now put your name. You can put Steam second or seventh period. You can put the drawing name that you're working on. You can put the date. The size is always going to be the ANSI size paper. 8.5 and, and 11 is always size A. 11 by 17 is B. So this one will be size A. Scale. This was the last thing. All right. I'm going to come over here to my model space and I'm going to show you about the scale real quick. I'm going to draw a quick little object. All right. Actually. Turn my ortho mode off and go to the midpoint. Oh, let me snap there. Yep. All right. I drew a bunch of lines there, but I think y'all kind of get the gist of it. Okay. So. If I go back to layout one, I can zoom in and out of my paper space. If I go to model space, I zoom in and out of my drawing. You see here, this is where I get the scale. I can scale it to three inches equals a foot. I can scale it to six inches equals a foot. I can scale it to one foot equals a foot. Okay. Um, that's how I get the scale, the viewport scale. And that's what would go in for scale there. For this particular drawing, if I were to print this after I centered it on the paper, I would say one foot equals one foot. So I would do one foot equals one foot. All right. Uh, hopefully this video helped out. Um, once we're done, we can do a save as. We can save this as a template, which you'll have the option to do. Um, if you expand the window, which is a DWT, we save it as a DWT, it'll default to the templates folder and you can see there's a bunch of different templates. Now, I know that I did this drawing as, um, this is a class title block. So I'm just gonna put class title block A US, because it, or architectural, A architectural. I don't like that being A architectural, so I'm going to do A class title block architecture. So I know it was architectural units, A class title block. I hit save. I know that this template I'll pull up every time I can draw. I won't have to set units. It'll already be saved. Everything will be done right. So hopefully you got a little gist of the difference between model space and paper space and how you can work between the two and how different they are and how they can help you. Um, email with any questions. I'll see you guys as soon as we're back in school.